Thanks for helping me sort out these books, Pinky. I've put this off for far too long. No problem, Twilight. Hey, what's this behind the sheet? Nothing special. Just a magic mirror that peers into infinite parallel worlds. I don't know, Twilight. That sounds pretty special to me. <sighs> it's supposed to help me contemplate the nature of reality. Or something. I just can't get it to work right. And now it's stuck on a world that, as far as I can tell, is exactly the same as our own. Then why did you cover it up with a sheet? Because their world's twilight is so boring. Because their world's twilight is so boring. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's another me! Hi, Pinky, how are you? I'm super terrific now that you're here, Pinky. So what are you up to? Nothing much, just helping out Twilight. I love to help out my friends. Really? I love helping out my friends too. Oh my gosh, we have so much in common. Helping, helping friends help. help. Uh, I won't tell your Twilight what we did with her mirror if you don't tell mine. Deal. Does your world have salted caramel candied apples? We sure do. I love those. No way, so do I. Does your world have ooey gooey marshmallow and pumpkin pie? You bet we do. Does your world have chocolate chip mint ice cream covered double double chuckle fudgy nut brownies deluxe? No. Aw, that's too bad. We have chocolate chip mint ice cream covered triple triple chuckle fudgy nut brownies ultra deluxe. Say what? You mean to tell me that your world has an even better version of one of the most lip smackingly delicious desserts in all of Equestria? Looks like. You want some? Do I? Almost. Almost. Whee! Huh. I wonder what's keeping her. Pinky! Hello! I'm ready for that brownie. Boy, this pony villa has seen better days. Eep! Zombie ponies! Cookies! What happened? Did a prank get out of hand? Cookies. Think, Pinkamina. Think. What would the other Pinky do? <gasps> That's it! <laughs> Throw a zombie party! <laughs> Pinky, have you seen a box labeled... What the? Twilight, what is that? Oh no. Somehow Pinky must have fractured the mirror's glass and punched a hole in time and space. You don't think she fell in, do you? This is bad, Spike. If she did fall in, she could be in any number of parallel worlds facing who knows what kind of dangers. Well, knowing Pinky, she probably fell into a lollipop and gumdrop world. This isn't the kind of line I had in mind! Cookies! Is the rope secured around your waist, Spike? Y yeah but why do I have to go? Because you need someone with magic on this end to keep the portal stable enough for you to return. Now go. Well, do you see Pinky? N no, no Pinkies. Oh well, come back through and we'll try again. That's okay, Twilight. I think I'll just stay here for a while. Huh? Oh, Spiky Wiky. Oh, look at his little snout. So adorable. I have the perfect ensemble I could wear that would match his scales. Why? Pinkie Pie first, rarity world later. But try as he might, no matter the world he visited, Spike just couldn't find Pinkie. Well, our Pinkie. Though the search wasn't without its rewards. Twilight, you have got to try this brownie! I know my name sounds delicious, but you ponies know I'm not made out of pie, right? You there, the Pinkie Pie. Huh? Your Spike is looking for you. Come with us if you don't want to wind up a mid-afternoon snack. Inside a big muffin? Uh, yes. Well, despite its outward appearance, I assure you my invention is, in fact, a fantastical time-space device. I don't know. Sure looks like a muffin to me. Yes. Well, it wasn't supposed to. At least not until some pony got to leave a stuck. I said I was sorry. Willikers, turn one little time machine into a muffin and you hear about it the rest of your life. Yes, rather. Now, in spite of its confectionery appearance, if you'd kindly step inside, we could- <coughs> Will you two get inside the muffin already? This is it, Spike. 
By casting this retrieval spell into the void, Pinkie Pie should be returned to us. I don't know. The Twilight from the Brownie World told me that wasn't such a hot idea. Brownie World Twilight isn't here, Spike. Worlds beyond worlds of earth, wind, and sky. Split asunder and return Pinkamina Diane Pie! Uh, should we have specified we wanted our Pinkie back? Huh. Do you think that'd make a dip? Is that Twilight? Hi, Twilight! Hey, let's throw Twilight a party! Ooh, great idea! Faster, Twilight, faster! Quickly, Spike! We must reach the door before we drown in pinkies! At the rate they're coming through, I estimate all of Equestria will be buried in pinkies by the middle of next week! I'm more worried about when the huge lizard pinky with the sharp teeth shows up! Hey, Twilight? Was our pinky in there? I... didn't see her. We need to accept the fact that we may... may... never see our pinky again. Twilight! Spike! You have got to come out here and see this big muffin! Huh? There we are, right as rain. Science and magic on my world are more advanced than yours, so finding a spell to fix a class 5 artifact like this is no bother at all. Amazing. We can't thank you enough. Think nothing of it, my dear. Half of my job is fixing anomalies in space-time. Usually caused by a pinky pie. Now all that's left is for us to return the dimensionally displaced doppelgangers back to their worlds of origin. Right. If all you pinkies would please prance into the time machine, we can be on our way. Please refrain from biting the time machine. I know it looks scrumptious, but trust me, it tastes awful. A time machine, you say? I'm so much of a scientist myself. Do you think I could have a look around? Sorry, old chap, but I believe your dimension has done enough damage to the continuum for one day. Ah, uh, I suppose you have a point. As for you, Miss Pie, the next time you want a snack from a parallel world, may I suggest you ask for the recipe instead? Oh, yeah! That would have been much simpler. See? She likes it! <laughs>